Okay, so I'm making another video just to talk to you guys about my experience with Lux SB. It stands for Lux Scent Box, and this is their little logo. Um, uh, I subscribed to them, I want to say last year, sometime like in November. Um, and I wanted to do Scentbird. But Lux SB, while I was looking at all of my options, Lux SB had like so many more perfumes and so many more selections. And since I've already like smelled so many of them, I decided to go with these because they had more of a selection. Um, I, I don't know. I don't recommend it because I don't recommend this company just because um, their website, if you go onto their website and you make an account, there's no way to edit if you move and you have like a new address there's no way to edit that if you have like um a new card there's no way to edit that if you want to stop or cancel your subscription there's no way to go in there and edit that or there is also like a customer service number like an 800 number and when you call it there's like nobody ever picks up nobody gets back to you it's like really bad <clears throat> so I was like, pretty upset because you know I don't mind paying good money for stuff that I really care about like perfumes um I think I got the $15 it was a $15 I was paying $15 every single month and then I picked out any sample perfume that I wanted and um you know it's like a really cool concept and everything but it just wasn't working out um I think out of all of the five perfumes um november december january february march april may june july august i only got five perfumes and they owe me like five more because they've been taking money out of my account for already like almost a year because i started in november and we're already like back around again we're already in september so it's been like 10 months and I've only received five samples from them absolutely horrible not only that but they changed my subscription to the 15 to the $30 a month and I did not ever choose the $30 um, if anything I was trying to find a way to um, cancel a subscription and I think my first red flag was um, when I asked to get a sample of Dolce & Gabbana Sun that was the first sample that I asked for and they ended up giving me Dolce & Gabbana Love is Love okay like if I'm paying $15 I should get the sample that I want I might as well just like go on eBay and just buy whatever sample I want um, so yeah, I ended up, um, just giving that one away, and then since that one was wrong, I just didn't, I just don't have time for that, like, I don't have time to be calling customer service, and like, I don't want to deal with that, um, I just wanted a company that knows how to do their things right, right? So that's when I tried calling them, and I tried, I had to even email them, they never got back to me, I did everything that I could and it was really stressful to the point where I completely forgot about it I even tried going on their website trying to edit everything I also moved in the middle of all that to a new apartment with my husband and I was trying to edit that because I didn't want the perfumes to go over there to the old apartment and it was like this huge mess there was no way to edit anything and it was really messy and I just don't like it at all I just think it's really crazy that like what a stupid website seriously like it's a very very dumb website and whoever I don't even know if it's privately owned like I don't really know anything about it I just had such a horrible experience right so they gave me five um I only have four with me right now because these four came in one box today um I had to change my credit card number because they kept charging me and I called my bank and my bank actually refunded me all of my money um that 
this company was kept charging me and um so i'm thankful for that and but they also told me that i need to change my card so i need to get rid of my card and then change that so i did that way this company doesn't keep charging me and there's like no way to contact this company it's crazy it's like really bad customer service is not it doesn't exist um but yeah today i got a box and all of these four were in here like this and one out of these four was one that I really wanted a sample and it was Oriana by Perfumes de Marley so aside from me just like kind of telling you guys my experience with this company I did want to sample at least sample these perfumes for you guys um and kind of put it out there um but yeah the only one that I picked out was this one these other three I've never even heard of and they're just like random I'll show you guys okay the one that I picked out was Oriana by Parfums de Marly. Um, this one to me smells a lot like Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Um, Oriana is almost $100 more expensive than Killian, but I do prefer Killian. I prefer Killian because... Oh wait, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my other arm. Cause... Because this one almost has like a little bit of a Play-Doh Play smell afterwards. But it smells still really good. It smells like marshmallows and it does smell really sweet. Um, I have Delina from Parfums de Marly and that's the only one that I like from Parfums de Marly. But I really wanted to try Oriana and this one smells really good. I just think I would prefer to pay for Killian than Oriana because I think Oriana is like $330 whereas Killian is like $230 around that price range and I think Killian smells a lot a little bit more like I would say this one smells a lot fluffier they both have that bubblegum kind of smell um, like very warm uh, fluffy vanilla marshmallowy bubblegum type of <clears throat> smell uh, but Killian's just like a little I think attached stronger in my opinion a little bit more candy a little bit sweeter um but yeah I have this one obviously I'm gonna keep it use it look how much I've already used um so that one was really good I would give it a 9 10 out of 10 the next one they sent me was Julie Juliet has a gun not a perfume oh to perfume um I just, I've already smelled this one. Like I would, I didn't even pick this one out. It's like so sad because it's like, you're just wasting perfume. It just smells musky. I don't really care for this perfume. I hate it. It's stupid. It doesn't smell like anything. It's just musk. I feel like it's a rip off. I don't even, whatever. I don't even care about that. Um, it's got a Miami, Miami Blossom. Um, I actually did want to try a Scotta, but not the Miami Blossom. I, want, I chose another one, but they just sent me this one. This one to me smells a lot like my mom. My mom's perfume. Literally the only perfume she has. Which is... No, literally, it's identical. It's the... It's the Britney Spears Perfume Fantasy. But the purple bottle. What is that called? It's like a fruity floral. Midnight Fantasy. Okay, so it smells exactly like, like this perfume. It smells like Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. Um, it's a very, very, where did I spray it? <sighs> no, it's like identical. This is like weird. I wonder if it's, what if it is? Because it smells identical. It's just, it smells a little cheap. I know a Scott is not the most expensive thing ever, but it smells very cheap, like very fruity floral. Like your most basic, most basic fruity floral ever. I don't care. Um, and then I also, they also gave me something called Nativa Aruba Eau de Parfum, made in the USA. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this up because I don't, I don't even know what that is. I, I don't know. 
Nativa Aruba. I have to go, I have to use the bathroom. Ew! Nativa Aruba is one of those um, perfumes. <laughs> it's one of those perfumes that they give you all the time to sample. And, like nobody really cares about it. And it's like one of those perfumes. I have to read up. <gasps> oh my god, I have to use the bathroom. I have to go pee. Oh, this one to me just smells, my husband did like how it smelled, but it's to me it smells very generic. Very generic. Very, very, very floral. Like very floral in your face. Like a warm floral. Let's see. So Fragantica says that Nativa Aruba. Um, oh my God. <laughs> There's only two comments. There's only two reviews on Fragantica. I'm dead. It's one of those perfumes that nobody cares about. Why would they even send it to me? I'm like, what an insult. And look at the... No, girl. Oh my god, Figanica literally has nothing on it about it. It just has two reviews and it doesn't even have like the main accords or anything. But I can tell you guys that it, it definitely smells just like a flower. That's it. Just like a very flat flower. Um, like a, it's one of those like clean girl flower perfumes that nobody cares about. Has no character at all. I just like I don't even know why they would give me these perfumes and make me pay thirty dollars, like double times what I was paying, and they still owe me like five perfumes samples that uh, I just don't care. Like I'm just happy to be out of it. I don't recommend this company at all. I really really don't I have not tried Scentbird and I don't think that I'm interested right now in trying Scentbird um I've heard good things about it but I just feel like I've already sampled most of the things that they've um come out with or that they have um so yeah I just at least I got Oriana at least I got all my money back and changed my card number but that's like a scam like if you have a company and you don't even like and you and like you should be responsible enough so that people can change their address or so that people can change their credit card number or they, they can cancel their subscription like you told them that they could at any time like it was not it's just really annoying that's a lot of money you know like you don't just do that and you don't just send them like whatever perfumes if you don't like a lot of like if you're out of stock of a perfume you should like say it on there you know you should like keep tabs on which perfumes are out of stock and then that way we can go and pick out another one and you don't we're not stuck with like samples that we don't even care about or we don't even know but um yeah i clearly remember which perfume samples i wanted uh for with for each month and stuff and like they could have taken a sample from another month and put it on here the only one they got right was oriana um yeah um i do not i don't uh what's the called very scammy it's a very scammy company but anyway that's it all right bye guys